Love at the Christmas Contest is a pretty decent film. I will say it's very uneventful. Not much happens, but it's a very easy watch. It's very festive. It's a great film to put on if you want something that's comforting, kind of fuzzy and heartwarming, and a good way to get into the Christmas spirit. This was released in 2022. It's written and directed by John Bird, and it stars Samantha Cope as Angie and Ross Jurgle as David Mitchell. And we also have Eliza Donaghy as Gabby Mitchell, David's young daughter. And the story is quite straightforward. Angie and David knew each other at high school and David is back in town with his young daughter for Christmas. There's a, a sense of sadness in the air. A few years ago, Gabby lost her mother, David lost his wife. And last Christmas, Angie lost her own mother. So everybody's kind of still grieving and trying to get through the holiday season the best they can. But this new rekindled friendship seems to put a, a spark of magic back in the air. A lot of this also revolves around the Christmas contest of the title, which is a, a Christmas tree decoration competition with uh, several stages to it with different themes and things. And I, I rather enjoyed that aspect. There's a lot of fun around seeing what the trees are going to be like and what the different the different themes are. I thought that worked really, really well. And I had a lot of fun watching that part of it. I think it's a really good mix of, you know, the sentiment and the emotion revolving around the grief and how that fits in with Christmas time and how friends are there to help each other out, but with the fun of the festive season. And I think they got the balance perfect. As I said, it is a good way to get into the Christmas spirit. It is very, very festive. There's you know, present wrapping and hot drinks and, of course, the Christmas tree decorating. So it does have a lot of Christmas vibes, which is not always the case with Christmas films. So I really enjoyed that aspect. As I said as well, it isn't the most eventful. In terms of key plot points and narrative developments, other than the development with the Christmas competition as we go through the stages with that, not a lot happens. So if you're looking for a Christmas film that's quite compelling with a very gripping narrative, this isn't going to be one of those, but I, I kind of don't mind that. Because as I said, it is a very easy watch. That's not to say there aren't occasionally problems characters need to overcome, because there are, but they're they're not that intense. But for this kind of film, that can work sometimes, and this is one of those occasions. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a Christmas film that's easy to watch, that has some really likeable characters, some really good performances, and one that will definitely help to put you in the Christmas spirit. Love at the Christmas Contest is, all things considered, a really good film, and ultimately one where I have no complaints, and I'm very happy to recommend it.